Oh. Great chase down there by Mario Gomez, who doesn't appear to have lost any of his speed at the moment. This is the chance now for Germany. Oh, what a goal! What a tremendous strike from Tony Kors. Well, we said before that his right boot isn't bad, but his left one is even better, at least with that shot there. Yogi Love and Germany with just, what, three minutes to go before the half-time whistle open up the scoring for the second time, but this time it counts. And Tony Kors was the goal scorer with an absolute corker of a left-footed hammer. This is how it happened. Quick thinking here after the pass from Kadira. There was room, and maybe too much room here for Tony Kors. Nathaniel Klein from Liverpool was backing off. And Kors, the man from Real Madrid, saw a slight opening, and it swerves away from goalkeeper Jack Butland to make it Germany 1, England 0. And the 10th goal in his career for Germany for Tony Kors. 1-0. Well, Deli Adi is going for the ball, make quite sure he got his man at the same time. Germany again! And that is the goal now for Mario Gomez! He seemed to hover like a helicopter when he nodded that one down. But where was England's defence there? Where was Cahill and Smalling? Mario Gomez is back with a bounce, and there wasn't much that Frieza Forster could do about that one. But a great goal here by Germany, who are now living 2-0, 57 minutes gone. And Germany look as though they might claim the first victory at home against England since 1987. But England's defence completely off guard. Klein wasn't there. But more importantly, where was captain Gary Cahill? The man from Chelsea has got the experience. To stop Mario Gomez scoring is now on the opposite side of the park and would love to connect this time. We're still loose. Great save! Great goal! Absolutely terrific stuff and who else could do it apart from Sir Harry? Kane puts a half smile back onto the face of Roy Hodgson with a terrific strike out of almost nothing. Manuel Neuer, one of the best goalkeepers, if not the best goalkeeper in the world, left with hardly a chance at all. The ball not cleared by Muller. The little turn by Harry Kane. He saw an inch and took the golden mile. Germany 2, England 1. Harry Kane with his fourth goal on his ninth appearance for England. It's game on. Well, later he may acknowledge... So, in midfield now, slowly but surely, England are doing a lot of good, honest, hard work. And finding the chances! Tremendous! What a fairy tale story come true for Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy is simply dynamite. The cheekiest of flicks, just as if he's always played for his country. The Leicester City lover has just brought England back into this game. And this is how it happened. Just look at that for a cheeky flick. Great work from Klein. And that is a fabulous goal from Jamie Vardy. His very first for England. And all the England fans out there will be hoping there will be more to come. A lot of credit here to Liverpool's Nathaniel Klein for the delivery. Somewhere along those lines. Maybe it was his girlfriend he was saying oh, hello to. Henderson with the corner for England. Time ticking. 
And there's a great goal and a great header. And is that going to be the winner? Eric Dyer from Tottenham has just put England back on the map. There's two minutes remaining here. And Germany's party here tonight has gone stale now. Was stalemate and Manuel Neuer has been beaten. Eric Dyer, who's had a great game here, first of all, a corner kick really rising to the occasion. It's his first ever England goal on his third appearance for his country. Two Tottenham players get their name on the score sheet. Harry Kane, Eric Dyer, and in between Jamie Vardy, Germany 2, England 3.